This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got the good fortune and honor to be in the presence of somebody who's been married 70 years. Happy anniversary, Mr. and Mrs. Willis. Thank you very much, Kathy. Thank you for joining us here on FYI. Uh, I went to school with Dan, your son, and you've got a daughter named Kathy. Yeah. And they are here as well, too. They're, we don't often have an audience, but it's always nice to have an audience. So let's talk a little bit about how did you make a 70-year marriage work? Well, the first thing is you have to have the genes in each of the two individuals so that they both live that long <laughs> to be there for the anniversary. But as far as the lifestyle is concerned, because Pat always worked shift work for Ontario Hydro, I never worked outside the family uh, until Dan was in high school. Okay. And Kathy was away at college. But we always had a lifestyle that we each had our own activities, and he was always a golfer. And in the wintertime, our family were all skiers. He was the expert skier, I was a bunny trail. And um, then we had other things that we did together as companions. Excellent. And so we weren't always under each other's wing, but uh, we kept involved, and we always were involved in a lot of volunteer work, both here and we spent many winters in Florida. And um, Okay, now I, I, I know you because of Dan from Smith Falls here, but you haven't always lived in Smith Falls. No. No. Where did you two meet? Well, it was very interesting because I was working at the Anglican Church downtown in Sudbury, Church of the Epiphany, and my job was supposed to be two half-time jobs. In the mornings, I was the uh, parish secretary, and in the afternoons and evenings, I was Christian Education Director. And one of the things a uh, Christian Education Director, when the assistant at the Cub Pack that met at our church had to resign, she asked me if I would come and help her, so I was helping her with Cubs. I'd had a real history of being with Girl Guides, but I never had anything to do with Scouts. So I took a weekend um, training course. They have had a training course for Friday, Saturday, and Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights. And Saturday night, we were ending with a big banquet. So Pat was the scoutmaster up in Cobalt, which was 12 miles from the station he was at. And uh, he, the field secretary for Robin Sharp for the Boy Scouts lived in North Bay. And uh, Pat was home on days off, and Robin said to Pat, I have to go to Sudbury to be speaker at their banquet. Would you like to come along with me for company? So he came from North Bay to Sudbury for the banquet, and we happened to meet as we were going into the hall. And so he, he saw me and he said hello and we whatever, and when we went into the banquet, he sat beside me. When the banquet was over, he said to me, can I take you home? And so I lived uh, in an apartment building uh, about three or four blocks from the church. So he walked me over to the apartment building. Now, I just had one room in the apartment with a teacher whose name was Mrs. Ward, uh, who was about to retire, an elderly widow teacher. And uh, it was a beautiful apartment building, but I just had one room in her apartment. So he left me at the door, and that was it. About um, a week later or so, or less than a week maybe, I had, at 10 o'clock at night, Mrs. Ward said, there's a phone call for you. So I went to, now everything is listed in her name. So it, I went to the phone. And the first thing I said was, how did you get this number? Well, <laughs> what he had done, he had called the hydro station in Sudbury and asked the, 
oh, he, he knew the name of the apartment building, and he asked them to, to um, uh, call up the, the name of the apartment building, and he called the superintendent and asked what was the name of the lady that owned the apartment that I was in, and then he got the guys in Sudbury to look up the telephone number for Mrs. Ward, and that's how he got my telephone number. <laughs> well, what he was calling for was he was going to have days off again coming soon, and he had some tickets for the Highland Globetrotters, and he said, would you go with me to the Highland Globetrotters? Well, I didn't particularly want to date with him, but I worked for the church. I didn't have much money, and I would love to see Highland Globetrotters, <laughs> so I said yes, and that was the beginning of That was the beginning of a 70-year marriage. Right, right. So and that was in November mm -hmm. of 1952, and uh, we were married in June of 53. Really? I, that was going to be one of my questions. How soon were you married? Yeah. Yeah. I, we, I met him in November, and, and we were married in June. You knew I it was love. I got my ring for Valentine's in February. You knew it was love. Look at that. That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. Can and you talk about your wedding day? Our wedding day was um, raining in the morning, but nice in the afternoon. Uh, we had a... Well, I was, of course, working in Sudbury, still at the church, and um, my home was Sault Ste. Marie, where I was born and raised, and uh, I would always thought that I was going to be married in the cathedral there, which was our home church. However, in November of the previous November of that, of that year, they had a drastic fire in the church, and when we came to the wedding in June, it was still under construction. So uh, I, they were having their services in the parish hall, and I said, I always went to dances in the parish hall. There's no way I'm going to get married there. <laughs> so there was a Presbyterian church, Kitty Corner across from us, and so we made all the arrangements with the Presbyterian church, and we took all the altar trimmings from the cathedral that they had saved from the fire and set up the, the church. It had a center aisle and uh, I made arrangements with their organist that my friend, the organist, could play. And the, of course my boss, who had been the rector of the church I was working for in Sudbury, came up to perform the wedding. So we had our, a great big wedding in the Presbyterian Church. Oh, wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. And you've got two children. Uh, two grown adults that are here right now, too. Yeah. You've got Dan and Kathy. When were they born? Well, Kathy in 1955 and Dan in October 1960. Excellent, excellent. And they're here as our audience today, too. So well, you were married in June. What's the date in June? Oh, the 8th. The 8th. All right. 8653. That's our June 8th, 1953 is, is our wedding All right. Date. So we are taping today on June 6th, so in two days. It yeah. will be 70 yeah. years. That'll be, and it's platinum. On Thursday. On Thursday. Platinum. platinum. You remember that, kids? <laughs> it's platinum. <laughs> <laughs> well, this has been such a pleasure now, too. When, when did you move to Smith Falls? When did you get to Smith Falls area? Well, Pat was with Ontario Hydro, mm -hmm. of course, and we moved around. We were 11 years in Elliott Lake. I was there through all the construction. Uh, we were there when it closed down and everything was boarded up, mm -hmm. and, but we, he was transferred to Smith Falls in the 1st of January of 1969. So we came here in 1969. At that time, Dan was only in about grade three or so, and Kathy was just finishing grade nine and going into 10. So they went, had their schooling and made all their friends and everything here and this was really home to them. So when he retired in 1986, we decided that we would stay in Smith Falls because that was really their home. And by this time, we'd made a lot of friends and we were involved at the church and, uh, and it's been home to us. And we are so glad you've made Smith Falls your home. This has been a pleasure, this has been a pleasure. And you're doing very well right now. 
Well, thank you. You're doing very well, both of you too. This is really nice. I know he's a man of not very many words, but that's okay. <laughs> is there anything you'd like to say? No. No? <laughs> you agree with everything she said, right? <laughs> that's what makes a good marriage. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd like to say happy anniversary to you on behalf of your TV, Smith Falls. Thank you very much for joining us here. Thank you for making Smith Falls your home too. This has been such a pleasure. Well, it's been a lovely place for us. We have really enjoyed it. And uh, we have a circle of friends who are just marvelous. That's right. That's what Smith Falls is all about. Good community, yes. good friends, good family. Thank and you it's very platinum. Much. You heard that, eh, Dan and Kathy? Yeah. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Thank you.